Good morning and welcome to the Core Connection. I'm Mira Rubin here with you on Enlightened World Network. I am really excited about today's topic, which is life as process versus product. But before we get started, let's just take a minute or two to settle in and bring ourselves present. So take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel that oxygen. Imagine it coursing through your blood, through your, your veins and your muscles and your bones and just enjoy the feeling of enlivenment that you can bring to yourself with that. And exhale gently and slowly. And let's take another deep breath in. Fill your lungs up and hold it for a second. And as you release, relax every muscle in your body. Your shoulders, your back, your jaw. Bring yourself present. Let's gently place our palms together and softly rub your fingers against your palms. Feel the tingling. Just feel your body and enjoy the moment of being here right now in this physical presence. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm really excited. And by the way, I can't see the messages today. So I apologize in advance for not uh, responding to you directly, but I will respond to you right after the um, broadcast. Anyway, so today we're talking about a shift of paradigm that is life altering and that I believe as a culture uh, is an essential shift to our, um, our surviving and our thriving. And um, it's a shift from outward to inward. It's a shift from, from uh, well, let's just talk about it. So it's come to my attention over and over with my coaching clients that we identify so deeply with what we create in the world, with our jobs, with the, the productivity, with the list of to-dos that we get to check off throughout the day. And this is all identifying ourselves through outward measures. And I've spoken about this before, but this is, this is a little bit of a different take on it. Uh, one of my, actually a number of my clients really are learning to tap into their intuitive, their intuitive desire, their intuitive expression, their, um, their soul self. And in, in this deepening of a connection with our authentic impulse to life, what came vividly clear to me yesterday was that we are creating a shift in our relationship with life from our outward production, the product, the results, like saying our life occurs when there's a result. Like I get to be happy when I do this and uh, when I have achieved this particular milestone, then I can feel good about myself or when I have uh, made a certain amount of money, then I'll know I'm a success, for instance. And these are all outcome-based uh, outcome evidence, evidences of, uh, of something to which we are ascribing meaning and value. So we're kind of saying, well, when I get to this point, then I'll live, then I'll appreciate. And really what the mandate is, and it is a mandate, is to be present to the process of life. Life is not about an outcome. Life is about living. And so many of us don't experience life because we are looking for the next milestone. 
And so we're, we're doing, 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 we're maybe miserable in the process. And then we have the achievement and that's the milestone and that's what gives us value. And many of us, even when we do achieve that milestone, don't even give that to ourselves as a win. You know, it's like, okay, great. What's next? And the thing is that our lives slip by that way. And I've spoken before of using the fact that we are going to die at some point, that we cannot outrun death, using that knowledge as an advisor to invite us to a richer quality of life. And, and this shift, like a conscious and deliberate shift from outcome to process, will shift everything, not only for us personally, but on the planet. Because if we look at what we've done to the planet in terms of our endless production, our consumerism, our, our pollution, the way that we have valued money above all else as a culture, the way that we have justified anything that we do because we can focus on a very specific outcome, like I'm going to get my business up and running and I don't really need to look at the process. When we look at the process, what we can't avoid is the interconnectivity of things. When we focus on the quality of process, we can't be separate from our environment. And we are, are called forth to engage with life and with our surroundings and with each other in an entirely different way when we're present to this moment's quality of life and this moment's impulse to express in a pure way. And um, it, it was something of a revelation for me yesterday to in a conversation with a coaching client to say, oh my gosh, you know, that's what we're doing. That's what the focus of this work has been is to make the internal movement from, from all the things by which I judge myself and other people may typically judge me in the world and move that to my experience of living because the truth is that we don't know how long we're going to be here uh you know if we keep going the direction we're going we're told that we have 10 years to turn things around before um you know before we're in in a situation that is irreconcilable and uh, hopefully this pandemic and this moment of pause have brought us to a place where we can be more present to the experience of our lives and that we'll carry this forward into our culture and into our expression. And so uh, as we recognize the quality of our lives, of our lives and the process of living and the process that we're experiencing in our uh, expression and our emergence, it changes everything. It changes our self-worth. It changes our ability to adopt our authentic values. It changes our ability to express ourselves, <laughs> express ourselves more fully and more clearly and and more authentically. I just want to say hi. Hi to Dido. Thank you so much for being here. And John Thaddeus Floor. I hope I said it right, John. Uh, good morning. Good morning to you. So I find this such an exciting revelation. You know, life is process. And that is not how we have been taught to live it. What we do, we do life instead of live it. And part of our doing this is, is like the importance of getting things done and achievement and accomplishment. And what if, what if our being here in these bodies is to be able to experience the physicality of it, 
to experience the highs and lows of emotion, to experience the beauty that is there as part of our birthright to receive in the world by simply seeing a flower, seeing the expression on a child's face. You know, there is so much beauty. And as we focus on process, wow, I'm getting all choked up here. As we focus on process, on how we're living life, rather than what we're doing, you know, all our to-dos and get to get dones, we get to affirm life itself and expand life itself and cherish life itself for, for the magnificent gift that it is in our struggles and in our triumphs. So the invitation today is to presence yourself to the process of being, to, the, to life as a process, not life as an end goal. We don't get to leave here with the toys that we collected or the money that we have. We get to leave here with the experiences that we have had in our lives. And so many of us have forestalled the experience of the richness of life with a focus on doing, doing and having and, and accumulating and accomplishing rather than being. And that's the call, to immerse yourself in the beingness of life and the richness that's here for you. And that will give you permission when you value your intuition, the expression of your soul, when you value that above all else, it will give you permission to be who you came here to be, to express the gifts that you came here to share because it gives you joy to do so. And so we get to recreate the paradigm for ourselves, for our families, for our communities, for our planet. We get to recreate the paradigm to move from outward value, like a material documentation of our value in the world, to the value of living. And our purpose, perhaps, uh, in a grander scheme, is to expand the richness of experience that is available to us simply by relishing and cherishing the the sensate capabilities that we have to, to experience. So to experience pain, to experience pleasure, to experience love, to experience rage, to experience all of it. And that that is the focal point rather than the doingness that we have come to believe ourselves to be and moving from that doing to being we will be naturally better stewards of our planet we will be naturally more connected to one another we will be naturally drawn into communion with one another much more deeply and the quality of life will naturally improve for everyone so with that, and 
my deep compassion and love for you. Um, please check out the other magnificent programming on the Enlightened World Network. And really revel, 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 revel in the experience of living as a presence here on the planet with the ability to have the richness of our senses. So with that, I love you. So much compassion. I will hope to see you back here with me tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. This is The Core Connection, and I'm Mira Rubin.